Malin, and today I want to give four lessons after my fourth year, going into my fourth year of working out. So why should you listen to me? Why should you listen to my advice? Well, first off, I've spent a lot of years struggling to kind of get weight. I'll show you kind of what I looked like and what I kind of look like now. And I've made a lot of kind of mistakes along the way, and I could have made a lot more progress if I did some of these things that I'm going to tell you. So the first one is consistency, you know, finding a routine that you can actually stick to and something that you can enjoy and that's going to be sustainable because the most important thing is building it up over a long time because this takes time and that goes into the second point which is to have realistic expectations you know this is going to take years this is going to take a long time it takes time and effort to build muscle and another thing about the um being realistic is also having a diet that you can actually stick to one that you enjoy you know it's really important to eat clean food I'd say at least 80% clean but to have that clean food that you enjoy eating that you like eating so then you can keep going into it and you enjoy it more then you kind of feel better about it and so just looking at my notes that's also my third point which is the diet you know you've got to be eating enough protein you've got to be eating enough calories and if you're someone like me who has a high metabolism and finds it hard to kind of pack on muscle then you've got to eat a lot of calories and I was playing a lot of soccer and that took a lot of that takes a lot of extra calories and then that means you have to eat a lot more and it takes up a lot more of your time and then it was kind of this knock-on effect where I wasn't having enough energy to train properly I wasn't getting enough nutrients to build the muscle so I wasn't building as much and I've noticed a lot more progress since I've stopped playing and then the last point is just to have good form and good connection to your muscles because not only is it good to have like good form when you're doing an exercise you know it's imp important that you don't like over exert your shoulders into like a bad way or you don't develop bad posture but to also get make sure that you're getting a connection to the muscle because if you want to grow it then you have to feel the contraction of that muscle as you're doing it and feel the strain in it so that was my four tips um I'm also going to tell you a bit about my story. So how I got into it was about four years ago now, nearly four years, so three and a half years. Um, it was like towards the end of like COVID and we had another lockdown and I was, you know, the first one was really bad and it kind of sucked, you know, as it did for everyone. But I realized I had to do something that was going to make me feel better about myself because I didn't really care about school. I wasn't really doing much of my homework. I didn't really want good grades because I didn't, wasn't looking to get into uni or anything. And so basically I had a lot of people tell me, you know, you're really skinny, you're like a stick, those sorts of things. And it kind of, I didn't really mind about it too much until <laughs> of course it was a girl that told me that. And then I kind of thought about it and realized, oh, I could actually kind of make a change and that would make me more attractive to these people as well. So that's kind of how I got into it. Kind of a funny reason, but it's kind of, it's kind of grown. It's not just because of that. It's also like this confidence and this feeling of satisfaction that you get in yourself when you create results and you actually see progress and you realize that you can actually change. So thank you for watching if you did. I'll see you in the next one.